What's going on, guys? Stick around. We got your 2018 Yanko Camaro to a 25,000 horsepower monster review coming right up. <laughs> So this is a 2018 Stage 2000 horsepower supercharged Yanko Camaro. This thing is an absolute monster and it sounds the part. It is a 6.8 liter LT1 engine with an aluminum block. Did I say 6.8 liter? Because this is a 6.8 liter. Wow. Uh, it's CNC ported um, LT4 cylinder heads. It's got an upgraded fuel system and injectors and a custom performance tune by Yanko. The thousand horsepower uh, badges and uh, supercharger badges are all around the car and, and done very well. It has five spoke wheels with black finish. Um, it's machine lipped and uh, has SYC, so Yanko Sports uh, Car Center caps. The Michelin tires were standard on it. However, we decided to put the uh, 315 uh, 30s on it just to grab a little bit more bite. We love, we love our Toyos. This car is the epitome of American muscle, both sound and for straight line drags. Hey, what's up everybody? John here with Maximum Overdrive. And uh, hey, gonna give you a nice overview of our uh, 2018 Yanko Camaro. Uh, this particular Yanko is number two of 25. A uh, thousand horse, um, yeah, it's a beautiful car, white over black, lots of black accents, just giving you a kind of a, of a nice little walk around of it, got a lot of footage to show you. Um, got the nice uh, 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 polished black rims, Yanko brake calipers, and then uh, custom exhaust with long tube headers, steel crankshaft, I'm gonna pop the engine open, man, this thing just, it sounds like a beast, because you know what? It is a beast. <laughs> If that don't make you smile, nothing will, trust me. From an interior perspective, just to kind of give you a little little quick view here, um, you know, all your digital gauge cluster is, is here. It's very simple, straightforward uh, to run work. It's got a nice, uh, nice heads up display as well. Comfort level, it is a pretty comfortable car. It's fairly big. This of course is a stick. You would not have this car any other way. It does got some, uh, um, wheel feels good. It's got the Alcantara accent. Uh, going on which hey, some people like it some people don't the paddle shifters are very small um, that are here for rev matching and uh, I, I wish one thing that would happen is that whenever people put paddle shifters in meaning American car uh, car companies that uh, that they make them larger I mean they're just not very big at all uh, it's badged up pretty nice got uh, got the Yanko badges all over the place floor mats everything uh, I haven't really found anything that doesn't work one of the things I, I've noticed is uh, the traction control, sometimes I swear you push on it and you tell it to turn off. Like I just pushed on it and it doesn't necessarily come on. Oh, there went the track mode. Now it's off, now it's on, off, on. So sometimes it's it acts a little wonky uh, being off and on. So popping open the hood here. Oh, and it is spacious, by the way. You can fit, you know, two smaller people back here or maybe your kid if you want them throwing Cheetos all over the back of your leather interior because it is a nice leather, so. <laughs> I made a mix. <laughs> the front's not leather uh, there's a little bit of leather but the back is 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 all leather trunk space i'm not really going to pop that open because trunks is just you know, it's a trunk a little bit of space in there it's not too bad not too good pop the hood here this is where the money's at so i mean that wine supercharger is great it is a uh, custom supercharger from yanko yeah, a thousand horse in here. Um, you can see the, uh, the aluminum block has been painted a uh, bright red, which may be a little hard to see, but I'll throw up some drone pictures of this as well. Uh, get a lot of questions on who signed the car. The engine designer signed the car. Of course, we've got the badges. This one particular, again, 2018, 225. Um, really haven't had any problem. I've had it go into limp mode twice. Once when that happened, so basically underneath here, uh, this kind of came loose ring kind of came loose and then kind of sucked the plastic up underneath it went into limp mode automatically and then the other time I had it go into limp mode traction control <laughs> was not turned off which I thought it was did a little burnout and the car went into limp mode other than that from the side perspective we did take the original 305 30s off of it 
put on some 31530s, which was a really great thing to do because this would not buy before. It does buy, it does get traction. Um, you still have to manage the throttle though. You have to manage that stick pretty well. You'll end up in, uh, in a ditch somewhere. Um, with these Toyos though, which I really like the Toyo tires. We put them on all our cars. I'm um, not endorsed by Toyo. I'm just telling you, I think they're really good tires. Very soft and, and work very well. Very fun to drive. A lot of people ask, what is the SYC? Well, it means Yanko Sports Car. So yeah, you can still get these today. In fact, today it's not the 1,000 horsepower version, it's 1,050. So they've made some upgrades to it, which I'm sure they've learned from um, not past mistakes, so to speak, but uh, more technologies has come out, being able to add to the car, make it stronger, faster, better, all that good stuff.